Hey, this is Pizza Dude Man, and as you can see here, Zelda has been confirmed as a returning veteran, which in itself is not too surprising, but still nice to see. As we've seen with some character reveals in the past, she was uh, announced on the day of the release of a game, in this case Link Between Worlds, which some people speculated would be the case, but the fact that we didn't get a Pokemon reveal for X and Y kind of threw people off. Zelda's design in this game is much more brightly colored than in Brawl, which is what you'd expect with the art styles that we've been seeing in this game, although it looks like she's retaining her brown hair based on her Twilight Princess design. Now looking at these screenshots of Zelda, what I'm really liking about them is that they are using way more emotion with her. And we've been seeing that with a lot of characters, but she just looks so much more characterized than she's ever been in, I think, any Zelda game. Barring perhaps appearances of Toon Zelda. So far we have yet to see if Sheik is also returning, but at the same time when Brawl was coming around, uh, Sheik was not revealed until months after Zelda was revealed. I believe the most interesting screenshot by far is this one, which pictures Zelda fighting alongside a phantom. This screenshot already is generating so many rumors and speculation. Perhaps it's an assist trophy, although I kinda doubt that given that it wasn't revealed until right now alongside Zelda. I believe that it's much more likely that this is something tailored to Zelda's moveset. But if so, where? Is it just part of her new A button combo? Is it a new special move? Some people think this might even be a replacement for Sheik. But it's also interesting to note that the Phantom never made an appearance in a realistic Zelda game. So some people also believe that this might perhaps deconfirm Toon Zelda as a potential newcomer. Or who knows, maybe there will be a Toon Zelda who will use a Toon-styled Phantom and they will have the exact same moveset just like Link and Toon Link. For now, we can't really say, but as I was saying before with Bowser, I think this shows that they're a lot more willing to change movesets this time around as new games have come out, and I am hoping that this will mean something big for Ganondorf. For now, that's it for this Dojo update. Tune in next time for more.